We are back with a very fun guest in our studio again today, Elgato Melendez with the Harlem Globetrotters. Actually, that means the cat, and we were learning what it really means and how you got it. It's not because of his moves. It's not because he's quick as a cat. No, that helps. It's no, a whole different those. story. <laughs> no, I have those moves, though. Don't get You like twisted. to tell people that that I might have be those. how it is. No, but it's I have those moves. That. No. But, all right, so tell us a story. You, it <clears throat> has to do with the fact that you were going to the basketball court, but yes. in the end, it had nothing to do with basketball. Well, the basketball court, it was really far from my house. It was about two miles, and I asked my dad if he knows about a shortcut. He said, go through the sugarcane field. So I go one day with a ham sandwich in my hand through the trail, drop the ham. Next thing I know is four cats following me. <laughs> so I get all the way out to the end. I play basketball. I'm done. I turn around and the cats are there waiting for me. There you so are. So it happens for like two, three days and my friends start calling me El Gato and go try to find out. And there you are. The I cat am. leader of the team then. But we, I mean, we can whisper. pretend that it has to do with, you know. I mean, the eyes, you know, the cat. eyes help. You know, I can't, I'm very athletic, so. That it works. Not to lot. brag or anything. Yeah. yeah. Hey, y'all making fun because this is about the cat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you gotta step it up. But they will be actually, the Harlem Globetrotters will be in Huntington on the first, mm -hmm. and, and we'll all be in on Charleston the on the second. Yep. So we want to see a little taste of what we're going to see there. Can you some show us some stuff? stuff? Okay, you know, you got all right. just, just a little bit here. You know, I know you guys are really close to me. I don't want to hit anybody with a ball. All right, we'll step out of the way. <laughs> there you go. But you can talk while you're doing it, so yeah. that's pretty impressive. How did yeah. you learn how to do all of this? Basically, when I came in, I was all basketball. I did not know how to do any of these tricks. And I partnered up with one of the older players that know how to do this stuff, and I learned. So first time I did it, uh, I don't recommend kids don't do this around. A fish tank, please don't do it. A fish I did tank. It. I did it one time and <laughs> oh, it no. was a disaster. <laughs> the things so you, you learn when close. you're a Harlem Globetrotter. Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And uh, you can tell when the rookies are around because they you hear the ball bouncing around the hotel room. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, there are lots that's of a broken things, right I guess. There. That's hilarious. More insurance so, needed when you're a new one. Yeah. yeah, so it took me about a <laughs> year and a half to really, really get my my routine done. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, ha uh, you know, really, really good. Mm -hmm. And then you add your personality. So I'm Latin. I like a little bit of dance. So I just add a little bit of salsa to it. And then when you have the music, you see it looks like I'm dancing. Yeah. And everybody has the same uh, yeah. personality into the tricks. How That's do you guys awesome. coordinate together? All of your personalities come together and you have a really good show. Uh, we like family. You yeah. know, mm -hmm. it, it, they, the recruiters are, do a great job picking up good guys. You know, you have to be a good mm -hmm. basketball player, you have to be athletic, but you have to be a good person. And normally, you know, we, we pick great teammates and, you know, we work well together. So it's, it's hard to explain, you know. Yeah. Right. I mean, we told strangers, go in one day, here you go, guys, play. And we're like, okay, how you doing? My name is Come yeah. on, guys. And I then, imagine you have a lot of pranksters, some jokesters on the team. You never yes. know when a ball's going to come right at you. Yes. Well, we're not going to throw the ball at somebody, but. You know, you always have to be alert because it's, it's like we call the throw you on the fire. Yeah. And it's up to you to pick it up and, and do the best you can. Mm -hmm. And eventually, you know, you create your own style. That sounds like a job that anybody would love to have yeah. working like that. Does this always start as a love of basketball first? Or are you all pretty good at playing the game too? Yeah. No, I mean, you have to love the, bat, mm -hmm. the, the, the game. Um, the first time I saw the glow chart was the Scooby-Doo when I was six years old. Awesome. So, you know, I'm like, hey, who's those guys with Scooby and Shaggy? And then, <laughs> and then you start learning more about them and you see them on, on Sunday, uh, especially uh, Middle Atlanta hitting the hook shot on Sunday on TV. Uh -huh. And I never saw them live until actually I was in the game. Wow. Playing for the Harlem Trotter. So, Did you ever dream awesome. you were going to be part of that team someday? I never dreamed that I was going to be part uh -huh. of it, but they'll always be part of my life growing up, you know, playing basketball since I was six going into the University of North Carolina and graduating and that, then pro and now the glow wow. So everything's kind of tight together. Yeah. And, yeah. and it's, it's just a blessing. All right. Well, so you said, yeah, we want to try a few things though. And yeah. you did say that you can go into the Harlem Globetrotters just having a little bit of basketball underneath your belt. Well, not a little bit. Uh, yeah. I was going to say, I don't know if we <laughs> can count as having a little bit, zero. but we have but. three girls that are actually right now on the wow. team. Yes. That's awesome. Yeah. Right? So, I mean, it doesn't mean that you cannot make it, but it's a lot, it takes a lot of time, a lot yeah. of work and a lot of uh, uh, focus and dedication to become a Hollywood. So player. show us a little bit of what we would expect if we were just learning some of your tricks. We right. learn something. Okay, so we're gonna work a little bit on the balance. All right. Okay. All right. You can either spin first, on you know basics. It's like kind of like this, and in between the legs, mm -hmm. and then you just work in one pass, and that's how you start getting better. 
Yeah. Right? And then you start getting better on this guy uh-huh. and this guy. See, when I watch that, it looks easy. But yeah, I feel like but at it would first, hit me in the I could not yeah. do it. And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> no, and then you start getting in the flow of it. Here, can you maybe See? pass it and, and All right, so put your head back? You're going to hold it like this. Face. Okay. And then you're just going to kind of pop it up. Kind of pop it with your wrist okay. this way and then hold it with your other hand. Okay. Let's see. See? <laughs> Don't try to carry it like this. Okay. Try to like, you know, remember, because you're going to let it gravity go. So, okay. okay, ready? One, two, three. Hey! Oh, yeah. That was Great. close. Okay. There you go. Yeah, it comes back. broke a camera, but we're fine. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> that was right. awesome. I'll do. So that was good. That's yeah. how you start. Okay. And then you keep practicing, and then when you caught it, and then you come back that way. Okay. And that was really good, actually. That was but, Let's effort the, the then, spin. Okay. Because this one we like. And you said focus on something else. So I'm going to focus. Look at There focus you go. On there the, you go. On the, you're looking at the ball. Oh, no. Nah. Oh, oh, look at that. I did it. That, that was good. good. That was good. And what it does is like when you focus on the camera, the brain takes over your body. Right. All right. We'll try one more time. Let's see. All right. I'll just look at Brittany. Yeah. Look at Brittany. Okay. okay. Eye contact. All right. Brittany, eye contact. Brittany, do you not can do, do this. So you can keep this. All right. You really need to have your finger stable. Mm-hmm. There we go. That was, was that, that good? good? That was really good. Better than the first now time. Now let's see how long you can do it. Okay. You know, I mean, you could do it forever. So let's that. just <laughs> show us all the great tricks that you love without breaking something, of course. Yeah, we can give you more space, too, if you want to. We should have been counting. Well, how long you know, was that? Like, and guys, it's guys that spend a lot longer than me. Um, we had guys that had war, war uh, Guinness records, spin on the fin- on the nose and on the head oh my goodness yeah can you spin it on your nose no on your head <laughs> oh break in my, my head no <laughs> it's a certain type of head shape that helps on that oh okay yeah, so there is work with me, there's a science to it especially, especially when uh, you have hair uh-huh. in my case it doesn't work but some of the guys you know like uh we got scooter mm-hmm. that he is actually looks like currently near one of the old guys uh-huh. and he can spin it on his head really really good for a mm-hmm. long time same with his nose that's incredible. Yeah, I love it. So. Well, we're so excited for your show, March Thank 1st you. and 2nd. Yes. Check out the Globetrotters. It's a thing that you can really take the kids to, the entire family. I know I mm-hmm. used to go when I was little, and it was a great time. And obviously, I still remember, so lasting memories there. Yeah. Yeah. Mr. Cat, it was wonderful to have you. <laughs> Thank, Thank you so much. We'll be right back. <laughs>